Hi, I'm Senator Claire McCaskill. Thank you so much for all your great comments about contracting in the federal government and how we can do a better job looking at contracts, overseeing contracts, making sure we're getting value for every dollar. We're going to talk about some of those comments today. There is no question that one of the biggest problems with contracting is in the military. And there have been many suggestions, this is a good one, about looking at all the military contracts. That's why Senator Webb and I created the War Contracting Commission, because we are aware of the massive amount of war profiteering that went on with private contractors in the conflict in Iraq. Uh, it is time that we look at every single military contract and make sure that we're getting our money's worth that we are getting our military what they need, and importantly, that we use what we have in this country to create jobs that make sense going forward. Uh, green sector jobs is a perfect emphasis of the recent stimulus bill because we know that's a growth industry that's not only good for our economy, it's good for our planet. As to R&D proposals, uh, unfortunately, a lot of the research and development proposals come in the form of earmarks in the Defense Authorization Bill. Uh, we have to look at all of these earmarks and make sure that we don't have duplication and that it is an investment that is worthy of public money. Uh, we've got to take a look at every single private entity that is doing research and development for the military, make sure it's research and development that makes sense that the military needs and that is not duplicating research that's being done somewhere else. There is no question that cost overruns is a huge problem. We have determined that in weapons acquisition alone, we have cost overruns of $300 billion. That's billion with a B. 30% more than what we originally thought these various ships and jets would cost. So we have to get at this cost overrun, which means we really need to reorganize the way the Department of Defense does this. The people who are figuring out the requirements also have to be looking at cost. Uh, this is something that the new subcommittee that I chair on contracting oversight is going to take a close look at. Uh, if we don't look at requirements with cost, we're going to continually have change orders that drive up the cost of these weapon systems, drive up the cost of these contracts, many times to the point that they're not sustainable. You know, one of the things that people don't realize is that while contracting has exploded in the federal government, the people in the government to look over the shoulder of these contracts has diminished. In other words, we have increased private contracts by 50% or more in the last few years. It's now up to $400 billion a year. But the acquisition personnel and the contracting oversight personnel has only grown 1%. So we've got to get the resources to government to be able to do the job of looking over the shoulders of these contractors, writing these contracts, making sure we can hold these contractors accountable. Even though we all hate to grow government, this is where we're being penny wise and pound foolish. Because every dollar we invest in really qualified acquisition personnel will translate in money in our pocket as we effectively oversee these contracts. Thank you so much. I hope you'll come back to my channel, youtube.com backslash Senator McCaskill. Subscribe. Stay in touch. I'll get back to you, and together we'll have a great conversation about making our government better and stronger. Thank you.